So I want to talk to you about uh, the January 6th riot. That's that's as best you could get. It's, it was a riot. It wasn't a coup. It wasn't even a coup attempt. The people mm-hmm. didn't have any guns. They didn't have a plan to take over the government and run it. They were just people there that were protesting and were pissed off. And then they got egged on into going into the Capitol by a lot of people say were FBI plants. Oh, yeah. What? We got jokes for this? Oh, look at this. <laughs> so here, there's this special, there's this one guy named Ray Epps, right? And so now Thomas Massey tweeted this out. He's a blue check. He's a congressman. And that's why this is important, because a con- person of power, one of the 436 most powerful people in the world. How many people are in Congress? I said three. I think 34. <laughs> had, uh, anyway, here's, he, he tweeted this out. Uh, and he's he wants to know who this guy is. In fact, tomorrow, I don't even like to say it because I'll be arrested. Well, let's not say it. We need, we need to go. It. I'll say it. All right. Uh, spoiler alert, he was not arrested. <laughs> okay, here we go. In fact, tomorrow, I don't even like to say it because I'll be arrested. Well, let's not say it. We need, we need to go. I'll say it. All right. We need to go in to the Capitol. Let's go! So a lot of people are saying this guy is a, a fed. He was undercover, and he was put into the crowd to encourage the crowd to do nefarious acts like go into the Capitol. That's what people are saying. And here he is saying it, and here he is saying it again. And then the people catch on that he's what he's doing. I'm going to put it out there. I'm probably going to go to jail for it. Tomorrow, we need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. <laughs> So they know he's a Fed, and now he knows he's been found out. Did he get arrested? I'm going to get arrested for this. He, who runs around saying that? I'm going to get arrested. That's him trying to build up credibility with the other protesters that he's more radical than them. I'm willing to get arrested to say this. He knows he's not going to get arrested because he probably knows he's not going to get arrested because he's probably working for the FBI. Mm hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, folks, you have the word. As soon as the president starts speaking, we go to the Capitol. The Capitol is this direction. So now he comes up to this guy, he whispers something in his ear, and then as soon as he gets done whispering in his ear, the guy picks up the watch. Mm -hmm. That, That kid immediately picks up the gate and then they run over those cops. They knocked, they, they knocked some cops down. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, so that's who that... And so then they're interviewing... This is like the second guy in command over at the uh, Justice Department. And watch his stupid answers. During the January 6th riots last year, Mr. Epps was caught on video several times. He seemed to encourage uh, people to enter the Capitol to break down police barriers. Uh, video from the rallies... Uh, or from the rally down the National Mall early that day shows him doing the same thing. Uh, video even from the night before shows him encouraging people to enter the Capitol. Ray Epps lives in Arizona. He didn't exactly go underground after January 6th. He even gave an interview to local media. And he was well known to the Department of Justice. He was on the FBI's Capitol riot most wanted page just days after January 6th. He was on the most wanted page of the FBI right after January 6th. Whatever happened to that guy? Uh, in fact, he was one of the first 16 suspects added to that most wanted page on your website. It does not appear that he's been arrested or charged in any offense. Mm-mm. In July, without explanation, he was removed from the FBI's most wanted page. What? Mr. Olson, who is Ray Epps and why was he removed from the FBI's most wanted list? Senator, I don't have any information about that individual. No, he got no no information. He doesn't know anything about that guy. What? And you guys have been working on this for over a year and a half now? And you don't know who that guy is? Um, 
I would defer to, to Ms. Sanborn for any additional. So, but so okay. So this is it gets back to what I I meant earlier, like asking if you prepared for this hearing. <laughs> Did you prepare? Um, you're the Assistant Attorney General for National Security. Assistant Attorney General for National Security. He doesn't know who Ray Epps is. I know who Ray Epps is. He doesn't know. You think he's lying? Because I do. You run the National Security Division. The department has said... The guy who runs the National Security Division doesn't know who Ray Epps is. ...that these January 6th prosecutions are one of their highest priorities. This is a man who was on the most wanted page for six months. <laughs> do you really... Do you really expect us to believe that you've never heard of the name Ray Epps? You don't know anything about him? I simply don't have any information at all. Uh, <laughs> Google it. He simply does. Now, Ted Cruz is going to try with a lady from, I think she's the under something of the FBI. Let's watch who's just, this is. How many FBI agents or confidential informants actively participated in the events of January 6th? Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate that I can't go into the specifics of sources and methods. Uh, Did any FBI agents or confidential informants actively participate in the events of January 6th? Yes or no? Yes or no? Sir, I can't. I can't answer that. Did any FBI agents participate in the activities of January? I can't answer that. Okay. Any FBI agents or confidential informants commit crimes of violence on January 6th? Anybody working for the FBI doing violence on January 6th? Let's get, can we get an answer to that? I can't answer that, sir. Can, no, can't answer that. Did any that. FBI agents or FBI informants actively encourage and incite crimes of violence on January 6th? Sir, I can't answer that. Can't answer that. Did the FBI encourage this riot? Did they encourage people to go into the... Can't answer that. Can't answer that. Shouldn't, shouldn't they be held in contempt of Congress until they can't answer that? Hmm. It's worse. Ms. Sadburn, Ms. who is Ray Epps? I'm aware of the individual, sir. Uh, I don't have the specific background to him. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know nothing about him. I, I heard of him, yeah, but I don't know this guy. Do you know this guy? I don't know this guy. <laughs> I'm just the second in command over at the justice. I don't know nothing. The the guy who they had on the most wanted list, yeah. initially, and had a cash reward for if they found him. And then, what took, do you mean you don't know him? And you don't know you don't know him. Okay. Well, there are a lot of well, people who are understandably very concerned, understand about, Mr. concerned about, Mr. about Mr. Epps on the night of January fifth. 2021, Epps wandered around the crowd that had gathered, and there's video out there of him chanting, tomorrow, we need to get into the Capitol, into the Capitol. This was strange behavior, so strange that the crowd began chanting, fed, 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 fed. The Sandburn was Ray Epps a fed? Sir, I cannot answer that question. Was Ray Epps a Fed? I can't answer that question. And what does that mean when you hear that answer? That means yes. Because <laughs> if he wasn't a Fed, they would be screaming he wasn't a Fed. So he's a Fed. And it should be noted that Ray Epps not only was calling for, you know, an insurrection or whatever, you know, storming the Capitol. But he actually helped lead this. It was they were, you know, he was like the leader of the breach um, at his respective portion of the Capitol. Just so happens that the Ray Epps breach started one minute after one minute after Capitol Police uh, left the Capitol premises where he was at to go respond to what ended up being a dud story of pipe bombs being placed at the DNC and the GOP headquarters in D.C. down the street. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to point out, Jimmy, that there were more cops, armed cops, and Jackson can attest to this, at the Force the Vote rally with about 60 of us than there were cops at the Capitol less than a week later. You know, and I'm talking about there was one point when Jackson and Fee were speaking and I thought we were going to get arrested because they came out with zip ties fully loaded. And I was like, guys, can we please go back to the park where the permit is at? Literally at the Capitol, a couple hundred thousand people, less security. I swear to you. I shit you not. 
They had rifles for the healthcare protests. Yeah. And, and, so, and guys come out with the zip ties. It was like, oh, no. And yeah. so that's why people say it almost looks like the federal government wanted those protesters to actually storm the Capitol so they could distract people for two or three years and try to disqualify Trump from running again because they knew the corporation, I mean, the government, people in government couldn't beat that game show host again. They couldn't do it. So that's what it looks like. It almost looks like that they wanted this to happen. It almost looks like that they actually instigated it, meaning the government, the FBI. It almost looks like they did that so they could disqualify not only Trump, but MAGA in general. And they would be bad people. They are not now they're enemies of the country. And that's exactly what Joe Biden said in his speech where he was all drenched in red uh, light was that MAGA, meaning those people, they're enemies of the country. They're enemies of our democracy and they're enemies of our Constitution. That's what he said in his speech. And that seems like some people would say it seems like it's almost like this is a big plan to get rid of Trump and to distract everybody from how the government isn't doing a fucking thing to help you. And I think we should also not forget that it was a stop the steal rally. Most of the people were there and I was there where they get educated and learn about elections. They felt like they didn't get a, a, a fair play. And that's why they were there. And we don't have just people like Ray Epps. We have guys like John Sullivan, right, who, you know, was interviewed. Uh, it was all all these Black Lives Matter rallies. Uh, Johnny Tsunami interviewed him and whatnot. He was clearly out there, you know, just trying to play a part, act like he was a MAGA. And he was the one who caught the Ashley Babbitt shooting. On camera, and then he also said he had a knife there as well. We didn't see one friggin' weapon there. And you're going to sit there and tell me that a bunch of Second Amendment loving people are going to try to storm the Capitol and take it over with no weapons? It's just absurd. Virginia Beach, Richmond, Arlington, San Jose, Miami, West Palm Beach. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there.